Hi, it's Ray with Raise Your Game Golf Instruction. Okay, so I'm back again. I said I was going to come back and try the putting area, putting practice area, and uh, actually I got to say I'm quite impressed. Um, so I've got set up right now for a, uh, a four yard putt, slightly uphill. Now what I've done is I've put my little target out there about four yards. I have a little putting cup that I can put on my area, but uh, I just put it there for reference. But even if I didn't have it there and I putted it without it, it's just fine putting towards the uh, flag stick. Okay, so four yards slightly uphill. I'm gonna go ahead and uh, clear my tracers out and I'll show you what I did there in just a minute. But uh, so we're setting the ball up. Again, I'm using the, uh, the balls that came with the, uh, with the ball flight provided by OptiShot. Pro V1's uh, specifically marked. I've got a green light on my ball flight. And I know generally what my four yard putt is. So I'm just gonna set up and take my just about a four yard stroke. A little bit firm. And it says my launch direction was a little bit off to the right, which it was. I felt that in my putter head. I played around with the launch direction earlier and it's, uh, it's pretty accurate. So we want the launch direction to be somewhere around one for me. Again, set it up, got the green arrow, four yard putt, slightly uphill. And I put that right in the cup. One thing I will notice that uh, about the ball flight, if any of you have OptiShot 2, you got the bird noises and the chirping in the background and you get a birdie and you get the clapping and you know that kind of thing. I don't see a lot of that with the ball flight. You got the noises, makes the club noise, has the ball going into the cup noise, the ball hitting the ground, but I don't hear a lot of ancillary uh, background noises. I assume they did that on purpose I'll send them an a email here in the future and ask them about that, but maybe because it's more sophisticated, better technology, you don't need the clapping and the birds chirping in the background. It's more of a, of a tool than it is uh, a game, I, I'm guessing. I don't really know for sure. All right, I'm gonna gather those balls up and show you a couple things. So I was talking about the, the face angle, and uh, one thing it does give you is the ball speed, which I like. Tells me how, what, how many miles per hour I'm hitting the ball, so that's good. So this one, on this putt here, you need to hit it about 5.8 miles per hour. All right, I'm gonna clear that tracer out. And I'm gonna purposely hit this with an open face. So put the ball down, get my green light. I'm gonna purposely hit this with my face a couple of degrees open, not a lot. right in the hole. I went to the right a little bit. Probably, there it is. Launch direction, 2.5. So, I think that is in degrees. I, I would have to guess that's in degrees. And I was trying to do about a two degree face open. So, we'll try a little bit more on this one. So, we'll try and get a, about a five degree face open. So, you can tell if you've left the club face open at impact or not. Yeah, I pushed that. That might be a six. Uh, 5.9. So uh, right on. So the numbers, the numbers show 5.9 on the screen. Um, hopefully you can see that. And that's about what I thought I did. All right, so now I'm gonna come in with an impact slightly closed. Here we go, got the green light. So I definitely pulled that putt and it went further, and it's about three degrees closed. So the ball launched three degrees off the face is how I interpret that. Green light. All right, we're gonna try and do a little bit less than three degrees this time. I'm gonna close the face down just a little bit. Pull that, we're all about the same. Right exactly the same, 2.8. Well, that's a little bit less than three. So. All right, so now we're back to the normal putt. So I was playing around with face angle 
and I think it's pretty accurate. It um, it showed me showed me what I did wrong and what I did correct. All right, so this one I'm going to try and uh, go right at my target. And there it is. Okay, obviously I'm a better putter than I was chipper in the earlier session, but uh, it's tough. I've, I've never really videoed my, tape myself and, and put it on public before. I videotaped myself and looked at it and corrected all my mistakes or tried to correct them, but I've never really done uh, public viewing swings. Uh, a little tough to stand up there and do that. So I give credit to those people that can, like on the PGA Tour. Uh, Anyway, that's the putting. I'm going to change the target now. That's the short putting. I'm going to change it to a long putt. And this, the long putt I had, let's see, we're going to do a, uh, right, this is a 14 yard and it's a couple of feet downhill. Now, the same thing with OptiShot. You have your, your zones and you can turn these off or on. I like them on. Um, you got the grid showing red downhill and green is level and then blue would be uphill. So this shows 2.2 feet downhill. So it's down at the beginning of the putt and then it levels off uh, down at the bottom. So we're going we're gonna to try a 14 yard putt. Okay, now it's a little downhill. So I'm thinking maybe, maybe a 12 yard putt, maybe, maybe a 13 yard putt. Just a few feet shorter. It's not that much downhill. Let's see what we get. That might be too hard. I don't know. Now 11.9 yards total distance. My launch direction was pretty good. Now that looked like it broke to the left. I didn't see that break in there on the grid system. Normally you'll have some arrows going left to right or uh, left to right or right to left. I did not see that break in there, but it does slow down and go to the left. So I'm going to change my aiming point a little bit to the right, right about there. Two clicks. I, I call them clicks. I don't know where, how many degrees that is. We're going to gather up the balls. And my initial thought on the balls. Um, I don't mind hitting them. They, the lines don't bother me. I wish I had maybe a couple of dozen of them so I wouldn't have to go back and collect the balls up so many times. But uh, I, I assume I'm gonna have to purchase those uh, or have them made somewhere. But I'll talk to OptiShot about that and see you know, what the process is for ordering new golf balls with the design feature on them. It's definitely an odd feature. I don't know if you can see that, but it's got, it's like a line that goes all the way around and then some angled off lines with some parallel lines. And uh, it's, it's just, it's a little odd. I'm not sure why the pattern, I guess the camera picks that up better. But Okay, back to putting. Place the ball down, I got a green light. Okay, so I've changed my aim direction. Now, there is a place to change the speed of the greens too, but I'm not sure about the practice session. That should be pretty good. Oh, dot, 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 dot. 15.3 uh, yards, uh, launched it a little bit to the right, so that's probably why I missed it to the right. Let's see, what the, let's see how it broke up there. Once the, so it, it actually, it actually broke not much and then went to the right. That must be sitting on a little bit of a hill there, like a little knob just to the left of the tracer line. Anyway, we'll try one more. So the long putts in, if you've done any putting on simulators, you know, and with the opti shot, I didn't even use a ball. I just made a putting stroke because in the opti shot, the ball sits down in a, in a depression. So stroking the ball, you know, it would pop up in the air. So I just made a putting stroke using the OptiShot 2. Um, I should be clear when I say that. With the OptiShot 2, I would just make a putting stroke. And it read it, and it was fine. But 
having a real ball down on the ground is good. And that's one of the reasons I changed my sim bay around was so that I could actually make real putts in the simulator game. All right, one more. Oh, I think that's short. I think that's a little short. Mm, didn't hit that one very good. 12.2 yards, ball speed about 8.2. And it says I launched it 2.4 to the right. That's interesting. I, I, that makes me wonder because, yeah, I guess it was 2.4 to the right of the flag. Let me try one more. Let's see if I get good speed on this one. get there that might get there yep past the hole maybe five feet past the hole six feet past the hole launch direction was pretty good all right so that's how you putt with the uh, ball flight launch monitor by OptiShot I think it's pretty realistic um, the longer putts uh, I missed uh, didn't make very many of them the shorter putts four yards and in I did very well so I think it was pretty accurate. Right now, I'm happy with it. So this is Ray with Raise Your Game, signing off for this session. And when we come back, I think we're gonna go ahead and do some, some three-quarter swings. As I said to everybody earlier, I'm still recovering from back surgery, so I'm taking it a little bit easy, but we'll try some three-quarter swings, maybe with some irons, to see how that works out. So we'll see you again in the next session. Thanks for watching, and I hope you learned something out of it. Bye.